welcome to Our Heritage. I hope that in a number of these programs so far, we've demonstrated that in a, history isn't just something that you find in books. It's something that exists right in your midst. And today I'm going to talk to somebody who's lucky enough to have a key part of Canadian history in his very own hands, Mr. Keith Davidson. Keith, welcome to the show. How are you Thanks, today? Alec. I'm, I'm good. I, yeah. I couldn't be better. Canada just won the, ha. put uh, the states out in the, in the, uh, in the gold medal game with the women. Yeah, I know, we really pulled that out of the fire <laughs> at the last minute there from uh, the sounds of it. So uh, we, um, you were, we kind of um, uh, met, uh, you met my, uh, my producer Di uh, Diane at uh, our recent uh, Digital Preservation Day at o yep. OSCVI. Yep. And, uh, and you have, uh, have in your possession uh, some great treasures uh, that, uh, from, uh, from the Great War. So uh, please uh, tell us a little about them. Well, my my mother was uh, she she was an Atkinson, and uh, her mother was a her, uh, my grandmother uh, w was a Featherston, and uh, her two brothers were in uh, World War One, mm -hmm. and there was uh, William e Elgin. He was in uh, he was in with the, the engineers, and uh, mm -hmm. John. Uh, John Henry Featherston, and he, he was called Harry. He was uh, he was with the Fourth uh, Canadian Mounted Rifles, uh -huh. and and what happened, Alex, was uh, my mother inherited uh, several letters that were sent home to to uh, to my grandmother, uh, Will and and and, uh, and Harry's sister, and and these letters. Uh, uh, they gathered dust for a long time, and one time I was asked my mother about World War One if she remembered anything about the war, and she she went up the attic and she got these letters. They were all tied up, and uh, she gave them to me. Well, then, like I didn't think much of them, and then uh, uh, Remembrance Day came one time, and 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 I, I remember them, and I told I told my daughter, who Carol Ann Davidson McDonald, who teaches school in in King Card in Grade Five at Huron Heights, I told her about them, and I said next year. I'm going to give you those letters, and maybe you might consider giving these letters from Harry and Will that were sent to their sister and to their mother, give each one in the class a letter at their desk, and they can, they can read it, and it'd it be living history, and, and if they read it, and then they can, if they found something interesting, well, then they can discuss it with the class. Mm. And uh, they, they did that, eh? And I was, I was so happy. The only problem is the kids have trouble reading cursor, cursor? Uh, Cursory? What's the word? Cursive, yeah. Cursive, yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. even me, like I, like some of the letters are like they're old and uh, mm. like it, you have to, you have to squint to, to read them. But the yeah, kids yeah. got a big, uh, big kick out of it, eh? And uh, there's a postcard. I'll show you the postcard mm. where the men are praying before uh, they're going into war. They're on top yeah, yeah. of a little hill. Right. And uh, so they're all bowed in one knee and praying. And uh, and then in the background, there's a horse. Mm -hmm. And Carol Ann said, and all the kids says, the war horse, there's the war horse. <laughs> <laughs> That's really made a splash. All right. Yeah, well, I so. congratulate them on being able to read it. I can barely yeah. read my own cursive on a good day. Yeah. Uh, but wasn't this great what Dave Alexander and... Uh, and Mr. McManaman are doing for the oh, kids at the high uh, school. No, that's absolutely brilliant. Like, I just, uh, I just love what they're doing. Eh? And and yeah. when I went up there uh, on Saturday, mm -hmm. they got the particulars. They got my, they got my uh, uh, William and, and Harry's uh, military oh, records. Very nice. And, okay, uh, let's uh, bring this up so we can have a look. Yeah. All right. So that's their that's their uh, enlistment papers. Yeah. Uh, and uh, there, there's uh, Elgin's. Mm-hmm. Or. Uh, Wills, yep. and, and there's uh, there's Harry's. Okay, wow. all and, of the details. There. And the beauty is, they've told they give me a website. I got I can go to Ottawa, yep. and then I can get with their, their number with their service numbers there. Yep. Alex, I can send that in and pay a, a fee and get their total, all their records. Eh? Beautiful. Is that how that's done. Okay. Oh, it's so Fantastic. so nice. A handy tip for anybody else who wants to uh, trace yep. down trace down some relations. Yep. Uh, and um, just to um, oh, and there's that uh, 
There's that uh, postcard. Oh yeah, there, you want me to get it there? Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, well, no, and the digital preservation is great because when you work in museums like I do, like a lot of a lot of the challenge is making sure that these things don't crumble into dust if you're not careful. Yeah. So being able to uh, to preserve them digitally is an important way to do that. But okay, yeah, there they are all on. on the See, there's ears. there's the minister and the little the little dog. Oh yeah, and yeah. And they're all in a semicircle around them. Yeah. There's the horse. And there's the horse. <laughs> Way the heck. There's there. the war horse. Yeah, but yeah. they could they couldn't have operated the the World War One without the horses. Eh? No, like they, no, they no. were just like cars today or trucks today. Eh? Sure, sure. Yeah. Remarkable. And uh, on the back, well, it says, I can't remember, the November, it says, Dear Sister, how, how are we doing or something? And then we're camped on the English Channel uh, or near to it. Don't know when we're, we will get our leave over with. The weather is mixed, equal parts, good and bad. We'll write Sunday. Uh, your, your loving brother Harry. Yeah. Extraordinary. And uh, so uh, I guess uh, the um, question uh, before uh, before us is, uh, what um, did they both make it through the war? Did they? Yes, did they, they did. Both, Harry, both, Harry both was Harry them? was wounded. Okay. And he uh, he made it back, and uh, yeah, they both. Uh, okay. Uh, often they talk in their le letters about uh, like how fortunate they were, eh? and they, mm -hmm. you know, they, or they might have lost a neighbor, or you know, and they. But they were so, when you read these letters, they were so thankful. Like uh, often they, they would, in their letters, they wouldn't uh, go into the gory details about it because they knew their mother was going to read it when they sent it to their sister. And, right. and they, they just tell a little bit, eh? But, but the thing was, uh, they were so thankful to get, they called them boxes. and, uh, and, and the care the, packages. The care thing. packages. Yeah, that's right. And, uh, and they, they'd always thank people for sending them the care packages. And, uh, and this postcard, uh, I won't read it all, but it said, uh, 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 I will take some of them along with me, I'm talking about the, the, the boxes, the care packages. Everything was in good shape, not even a biscuit broken, ha. but both ends were busted <laughs> out, of, out of the box. Oh. Then he says, tin is a thing. If you have it, Please send tin. <laughs> <laughs> Darn thing fell apart on them, by George. Okay. Yeah. Uh, were you able to uh, establish, like, w were there any particular battles were they involved in? Were they at Vini or Passion Hill uh, or any of them? Or? No, I, could, I couldn't really tell. They, they signed up in, one was in 1916 and, and the other one was 1918, okay. I think. But I couldn't tell. And some of the, that's another thing. That's, it's tweaked my interest, mm -hmm. Alex, yeah. about the war, eh? Mm -hmm. So uh, I met a Mr. Auer up there, and ah, he told yes. me where to get two two good books, uh, Shock Troops and something else, and uh, at the sharp end. Yeah, at the sharp end. Just so I I am gonna I'm gonna do a lot of research and uh, be, become better acquainted with World War One. I'm gonna be a better Canadian after <laughs> I've done all my. My Wonderful. research. Yeah. We're gonna get. Uh, we're gonna. We're gonna dig into these uh, these fine documents in just a minute. But we're gonna take a break first. Okay. So Keith, we have uh, one of uh, one of the letters here, and it's uh, it's just in beautiful shape. Yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, Alex, this this is a letter uh, Will sent home to his uh, to his mother. Okay. Most of them were home to, uh, sent home to his sister Carrie, my grandmother. But 
he sent this home to Mrs. R.E. Featherston, our right. number two shell lake. Uh -huh. But the interesting thing is it was sent on uh, August 14th, 1918. Uh -huh. But okay. down, down here, you see, there's a stamp, passed by sensor number 1741. Right, because all of So somebody was the, reading my uncle, my great uncle's mail. They had to, yeah, and they, I've seen <laughs> letters where they've had to black out the bits that get too specific as yeah, to what they're yeah. doing in case somebody's oh, yeah. reading them. He's also got much better handwriting than I do. Oh, yeah, uh, Will. <laughs> yeah, Will, Will wrote his writing, his handwriting was way better than uh, Harry. Sometimes, oh, right? with Harry, you got to you squint. And, okay. Yeah. So, uh, so 1918 August. So that's yeah. that's getting pretty late in late in the war then. Yeah. So yeah. he must have been by that point. He would have if he's if he's been on the front. Then he's been oh, he's yeah. seen seen a thing or two. There was a good one in uh, well, I just forget where it is, but it was about armistice when they he sent it home to his mom about they just signed the armistice uh, mm. and uh, he'd be home, but he didn't he didn't know when. Yeah. All right. Um, will you read it? Do you want me to read it? Okay. Please, dear mother. It says France, August 11th. Mm -hmm. Doesn't say what year. Uh, Dear Mother, this is Sunday evening. We were working all day, and after tea, we were issued with clean clothes. And as there are no baths up this far yet, we made a, a beeline for a river, they call it. But I would call it a creek. I don't know yet whether Harry, that's his brother Harry, is with the battalion. Uh, I'm afraid I'm a, I'm afraid he is. His his battalion is not close to me now, but I saw a few of them at a distance today. I doffed a whiz whiz bang. Now whiz bang is one of those cards. Uh, they call those postcards. They call that a whiz bang. Really? That's what he sent home. I did those, not. Those uh, where they're praying and uh, oh, the other okay. one. Oh, okay. I did not know they're, that. They're called they're called whiz bangs. Remarkable. Uh, I doffed a whiz bang to him tonight, and uh, they call it a field card. Mm. Uh, you will be wondering if I was in this last drive. Well, I was not far away. My pal Harvey, you will remember me speaking of him in, in one of my, my letters a little while ago, got a nice blighty, a piece of shrapnel hit him just above the shoulder blade. Ouch. It made him pretty sick, but he did not bleed much. I don't see why he should not get all right. Ruth says that you have, have to make brown bread now. This was a letter home from, him to him from Ruth. Ours is white, what there is left of it. The French will have to get after some of this wheat if they want it. Want it. it is dead right. Mm -hmm. I, I have had no letters direct from Canada yet. Grace, Grace her, that's his sister. Grace writes pretty regular, but I am getting behind with my correspondence. Hell, it is dark, and I think I, I had better roll in. Flanagan, a man of about 49 that was with us last winter, is with me now. Uh, that's something for him. He, he is getting pretty too old to rough it like this. <laughs> and I'm, quite, I'm quite comfortable. Will. Remarkable, and there's a huge amount in that. I mean, to uh, yeah. he's got a friend friend wounded in action, a pretty lucky getaway compared to some by the sounds of things. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm struck by the fact that he says, uh, say he seems to be he's putting a putting kind of a fresh face on the experience, but at the same time he's thinking of his, his brother and saying, I, I'm afraid he's I'm afraid he's up here too. But he's always he, in the letters. They're both brothers. Mm -hmm. They're always talking about the brother, eh? Like they're hoping to hook up. Mm -hmm. They're right. in different battalions, eh? They're, ah, okay. they're hoping to oh, geez. hoping mm. to, to hoping to hook up, eh? But they, they correspond mm -hmm. to each other. Like he'll one will say, Well I got a when he's writing home to my grandmother, well I got a letter from, from Will and then her, and then her, and uh, Will will say, Well I got a letter from Harry the other day and blah blah blah. Mm. I love these kind of these sorts of sources because it helps you imagine yourself there and I always oh. feel like if you can do that with history then it's a, yeah. a huge step. That's yeah, it's uh, it's it's just like with the kids my, in my in my daughter's uh, grade five class, like it's 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 living history. Mm -hmm. Like, like absolutely, this, these are a hundred years ago, mm -hmm. well almost, and mm -hmm. uh, to be able to relate to their to their uh, the fellows that fought in the war for them. Well, and it is relatable. I mean, you yeah. just you read that he's just, he's a regular guy. He's just, just yeah. worried about all the sorts of things that people are worried about. So yeah. oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. All right. And uh, we had the we had the um, 
uh, postcard er earlier, the whiz bang. I had never yeah, heard yeah, that that's, expression that's before. The I love the postmarks. And, yeah. uh, well, look at the penny stamps. Oh, oh my gosh, sure. yeah. Let's uh, have that. I'll show you that. Stamp collectors take note. Yeah. Uh, that was a Christmas uh, one on Christmas. Oh, my goodness. I'll take that off. Yeah, yeah. That. Uh, okay, yeah. No, that's a, that's a beauty. Yeah. And. Uh, that, that was. Uh, can we read it? Yeah, by all means. This is to his mother, too. This from uh, this is from Harry. Okay. Uh, dear, oh, no, it says sister. Well, oh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is to Mrs. Tom Atkinson. This is to his sister, Carrie. This is Christmas afternoon. You, you folks will not have had dinner yet, but we have been trying to digest ours for a few hours. <laughs> Mother will be saying, well, I wish those, those poor boys were getting a good dinner today, but I don't know that we need the sympathy to simply much as we had a pretty good dinner of turkey, mashed potatoes, cabbage, uh, Christmas pudding, apples and oranges and nuts. Along with that, we demolished a couple of boxes in our hut, one belonging to me from my friends and uh, my friends, uh, Mrs. somebody, and I wrote a letter to uh, Booslam and, and when I got back, and he got a pass, I got a reply asking me to come up and, and spend a few days uh, from a Miss, Miss Margaret Feet. She is living with a widowed sister. They are, they are daughters of uh, Private F. Feet. Mother his mother died about a month ago. I got a box from them today of cake, chocolate, tarts, a hundred cigarettes, and one thing and another. The boys in our hut have been smoking my treat all day. <laughs> I've been lucky in getting boxes. There are a good many boxes uh, between her and and Can, and uh, I got my I got one from somebody and Grace Nickel and the and the Women's Institute and the and the Girls Club. That's oh, who we got wow. a box from. Yeah. Or a couple boxes. I guess I'll I'll. I'll have to write them a note and thank them. I don't know, I don't know, know their secretaries. <laughs> Yesterday and today have been uh, fine days, but we have had some dirty weather as well. We have to get out for an hour of physical training in the morning in our something. Mm -hmm. I guess that would suit. Tom, that's, uh, that's my grandpa. Mm -hmm. uh, is all right. I'm impressed uh, that he gives something. I can't, yeah, I can't, no I can't read. I'm getting hungry yeah. just listening to half of, the, half of this. And then this, <laughs> this some guy was teaching them bayonet fighting. Yeah. And see, see that they're in some training now. Right. Some of our officers are going to France in a couple of days, and some are away taking a course. Some are staying with us, and one uh, safety first major is going back to Canada. May he be made to feel his neck forevermore. I don't know what that means. Yeah, oh dear. I'm not yeah. hard to say whether that's favorable or not. <laughs> you know what? We're I, I want to hear the rest of this, but we just got to take a quick break oh, okay. first. Right. Yeah.
back again. So uh, Keith, that, those uh, fir first letters we looked at, they were extraordinary, really cool uh, snapshot in, into their life. I liked the, the bit about uh, the fact that um, folks back home wouldn't ha couldn't have white bread because of the, the rationing situation. So <laughs> that, uh, that was a, a nice, uh, a brilliant insight. Yeah. Got another, another one here that's, uh, that's a letter home that sounds quite uh, moving. Okay, th this, this one's from Will, and it's uh, France, September 21st, but he, f he forgot to put the year. Okay. And it, uh, I don't know. Anyway, yeah. Will, it says, Dear Sister, it is, hardly, it, it is hardly bedtime yet, so I will write a few lines to you. I may not write home for a few days, as I got a letter or letters from the club in Tantalon a little while ago, and rather than write a, a club letter, I intend to answer each one, as some of the girls will be away from town before this. What club is that? I'm, I'm not too sure. Like, I think he was an officer. Like, I don't know when he, Oh, like, gotcha. I, I gotcha. didn't quite understand okay. it. Yeah, sorry, continue. There were, um, there were only five. I am, standing, I am standing this life pretty well sometimes, and, and one gets, uh, and, one, and, and I get it pretty hard uh, for a few days, but on the whole, we do not have to work uh, too hard. I got a bath and a clean shirt today, so I have a little, little more respect for my, myself this afternoon. Uh, where's two? There we go. I was out, I was, I was out this afternoon and got a, a bunch of grapes. It made me think of fair time. Since tea, I've been walking around taking in s some things that no doubt uh, people in years to come will, will travel miles to see. I expect to see Harry again in a few days. I don't know how it will pan out. We may not be very close together. You were asking me about the children. I do not know anything about them, but hardly think what you said about so many of them dying is right. He's talking about the kids over in France. Yeah. For weeks at a time, I do, I do not see woman or child, or civilians either for, for that matter. Some of them are, are not slow getting uh, back to their homes when the Germans are driven back. I am I'm just beginning to realize what an immense amount of land is, is made waste by the war and the amount of people that, that have been driven from their homes. And the worst of it is they will have no homes to come back to in a, in a good uh, many cases. I know the way you feel about uh, we boys out here. I felt that way myself once, once I can hardly imagine where I am I am but I am with myself sometimes uh, I was I was just saying to one of the boys today that I never thought a few years ago that I would be spending a summer in France say nothing about the winter I'm rather dreading that but the but the lion boys are to be pitied more than we I have just spent five minutes looking for your letter then I remembered I had given it to Harry. He wrote me a pretty good letter a while back. I was going to send it home, but I thought it wouldn't, it wouldn't do mother any good if she knew just exactly what they have to go through. And it is surprising how they feel about it if they get hit. Uh, all right, if they, if they don't, they don't. Well, I think this is pretty good for tonight. I had a better I had better get my bed made. No saying when the when the lights might have to go out. I got a box from a girl uh, I met in Toronto uh, last winter. Uh, she's in Brantford Brantford now. Good night, your loving uh, brother Will. P.S. September twenty fourth received another parcel in good shape. Last night, he's always talking about the parcels. Yeah, it well, I would like too it. if you're over there. <laughs> they just thought so much to get in the get in the parcels. Well, to have uh, to have a, I, I know if I were in that situation, to have a little chocolate would be bliss. Oh, <laughs> they, but, just, uh, they just, it was just, it was bliss. Yeah. Yeah. No, and what what strikes me is uh, is so so much of history gets related in. Uh, in documents that use very formal or grand, grand language, especially, you know, like speeches by politicians and that sort of thing. But it's remarkable how the voice of just a regular guy hasn't changed, or gal as the case may be, mm -hmm. hasn't changed a whole lot. 
Yeah. It's, uh, it's just, I laughed just, just living. Alan, in one of the letters, Sir, Sir, Sir uh, uh, Borden, uh, the Prime oh, Minister, yeah, yeah. what was the first name? I can't remember. Uh, uh, Sir, Robert? Sir uh, Robert Borden. Yeah. He, he came to the battalion and he just heard Harry talk. He said, we had to clean everything. We even had to clean the, the sandbags. <laughs> <laughs> like it was... Uh, like they really wanted to impress him, eh? And yeah, well, yeah. army deal, eh? And, and right. then there was a, there was another one of the letters about uh, two of the generals or the top guys got into an argument. Yeah. And they both they both said that that they were like one said he was yellow and the other guy said well you're yellow too and and uh, us men he said we just chuck them about that, eh? It's, oh it's, my it's gosh. Amazing the things that they put in the letters. It's astonishing the way they managed to uh, they managed to make a life in in such circumstances because. Oh. Because there's that very, very sad bit there where he's re reflecting that all, all these villages that they're running over, they get completely ground into oh, gravel as they're going. So. And the weather, when the weather was bad, like they, were, they had a, uh, like, like sometimes when they're on leave or on the march, eh, like they did a lot of marching, but they'd, had, they'd just sleep on straw and sometimes it was wet and, and uh, they had, uh, but, but when it rained, and it rained a lot, eh, they, had a, they had a ground sheet or something and they put it up above their head, eh? But, mm -hmm. They just, they try to make it so that the water <laughs> ran away, but they, they couldn't sleep. Like, it was just yeah. terrible. But remember, but the, when, the, when, the, when the fire, like the, the rifles were going off and everything, ain't yeah. like they were breaking eardrums and, uh. oh, and the, 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 the things that happen in war, like, you, can't, you, you saw yeah. Passchendaele, didn't you? Did uh, you see that movie? I Passion. did, yeah. yeah it's and to, but to be able to, to read it in a book is all very well. Is works fine, as you say. Tim Tim Cook's books are, are excellent, so they're yeah. well well worth looking uh, well worth looking yeah. at. But to hear it in the words of the people who are living it, these are extraordinary. Oh. What you have here, and I'm glad that you were able to get the, you're getting them uh, digitized with oh. uh, Dave Alexander's project. Oh, it's it's a wonderful project. Yeah. Yeah, and hopefully then then uh, and hopefully other people will uh, get the chance to to read them as well. Other yeah. folks should be looking oh, to we'll, see whether we'll they've able, got. We'll be able to share them.